I was completely alone. Broke. Weak. Angry at the world and blamed everything and everyone else for my life situation. How I felt. I was constantly angry at everything else and I didn't realize it until there was one person. A masculine father figure in my life who came down and gave me the life advice that I didn't know I needed. Here are some life lessons that I've learned that could help you through your teenage years and hugely benefit you in the future. You see, I am very, very lucky. Now, me and my dad have an amazing relationship and I am very lucky to have that sort of father masculine figure in my life. I know a lot of people don't have that. So here are some things that he taught me that I have learned over the years. Manage your time. You are not overwhelmed. You are just simply unorganized. Wake up earlier, create a to-do list, set yourself deadlines and stick to your schedule, to your routine. Waking up super, super late in the evening and then realizing this and then you try and do everything all at once, that's what's making you overwhelmed. The fact that you are unorganized. And some people might be saying, like, no, that's not true. Just try it first. Just try being a little bit more organized, managing your time a little bit better, and see if you're overwhelmed then. Because I guarantee you that you won't be. At least that's what it was like for me. Focus on one thing. Everybody wants results. However, only a few actually stay focused. And the thing is, I actually... I call, like the definition of focus something slightly different than the most average like the majority of people my definition of focus is the gap that is between your current life and your dream life the life you want to have the gap that's in between that is what i call focus so anytime i get distracted i focus and think about the gap you know the gap between my current life and the life i want i focus on that and how i can reduce that gap Anytime I'm in the gym and I'm getting distracted, I want to go home, I will then sit down, I will focus on that gap. No, this is helping me close this gap. I know that's very, like, unordinary and it's very different to majority of people, but this works for me. Multitasking isn't real, in my opinion. I used to, I used to always say that I was a multitasker. I used to always say that I could multitask everything, but anytime I tried to do so many things at once, I would never put in 100% effort in each thing. And I end up not getting anywhere in all the things I tried. I only actually made genuine progress when I sat down and fully focused down in just one task, one thing at a time. And that's when I actually made a huge amount of progress. Rather than half-assing a bunch of different things. Not really getting anywhere. Make gradual improvements. If there is any goal that you have in life right now, just think to yourself, it's just you and me and I'm not going to hear you. But what goal do you have right now that you want to achieve? I want to get mentally healthier. I want to get physically better. I want to get shredded. I want to start my own business. Whatever goal you have right now, just start. Stop making it a dream. Just simply start. Start by reading one page. Start by writing one paragraph. Start by that one workout. Your very first one. Just start. Aiming just to improve 1% every single day in any goal that you are trying to achieve will make huge changes in the long term. Thinking about the long term rather than the short term. Oh, I don't know if I should start going to the gym today. In a year's time, you will look like a completely different person. Think about that. Look at things diagnostically. So much of the time, whenever anything happens, any stressful situation or any like unfortunate event in our lives anything that happens we always tend to be attracted and focus on the negative we tend to always focus on the negative to the point that we become negative the next time something happens next time something goes wrong look at things diagnostically instead of being negative and looking at the negatives ask yourself these three things what am I in control of? What can I do better? And how can I improve? And the last one of the five things is kind of a very undetected one. It's a very small one, but it surprisingly says a lot about you. And that's your handshake. 
a strong handshake says a lot about how you see yourself. I sometimes forget about this, and, um, you know, I, I, just, I feel like it's something that's so, like, under the radar. We never think about it until it actually comes up. Every time I have a handshake, I and I know that my handshake's, like, pathetic and weak, I'll think about it afterwards and be like, oh, no. He's probably thinking, like, he's probably judging my weak-ass handshake. Oh, shit, <laughs> what the fuck? Um, and uh, I think the reason why I've put this up here is because, not because, like, oh, that's the most important thing of your life. It's just because how strong your handshake is how you see yourself. You know, every time I did pathetic handshakes, a lot of the habits I was doing in my life was pathetic. My life was kind of pathetic. When I have a strong handshake with a new person I've met, and they compliment us like, oh, good firm handshake. It's kind of how I see myself. I'm in a very good, strong position of my life, and I'm taking control of my life. I feel like it's something that I just don't really think about, and a lot of people don't think about until it actually happens. So, yeah, that, that one's kind of like a sneaky one. A little sneaky one. All of these have been super, super helpful, though. And all of these are amazing things that I am very fortunate enough to have learned from my father. I am lucky to have a masculine figure in my life, because I know a lot of guys don't have that. So hopefully these life lessons that I've learned throughout the years can help you, even just a small tiny bit. Another video is going to pop up in the corner, and you know, you can click on this if you want, it might be able to help you out, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, because maybe this can, you know, hopefully change your life. And more importantly, stay consistent, don't give up. Alright, you know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss.